สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I am so excited to finally be doing a remake of a classic Thai dish, and that is crab fried rice or khao pat bu. So khao pat is fried rice, and bu is crab. So the original recipe, the original video, if you've seen it, you know that it's very very old. So if you want to watch me when I was just a youngin, you can go look it up. But today, today's recipe is actually not. All that different because the recipe itself is really solid, but I will add extra tricks, extra tips for an even better fried rice. All right, let's get started. So in Thailand, khao pat bu is one of the most common types of khao pat, one of the most popular too. Actually, you can get it anywhere, but because it's such a simple dish, your ingredients really have to be good for it to be really good. Okay, so let's talk rice first. Most important thing, I like to use jasmine rice. As always, because it's the most fragrant, most delicious. But jasmine rice can be a bit soft. So for fried rice, I always cook it with a little bit less water if I know I'm going to be using it fresh, right? Like straight out of the rice cooker into the wok. You add a little bit less water, the rice be a little bit dry. If you've got day-old rice that you've had sitting in the fridge, that's even better. It'll make it easier. But you definitely don't have to. Okay, so I've just cooked this, and I just spread it out just so to let the steam out a little bit and help the grain separate more easily. Okay, let's move on to the seasoning. Really simple seasoning. I've got soy sauce. I've got fish sauce, Thai soy sauce, of course. But if you just have like Japanese soy sauce, it's fine. But for ultimate Thai fried rice flavor, you want to get yourself Thai soy sauce. I do have a video all about soy sauce. I'll link to that below, um, and also a little bit of sugar to balance that salt. It will not taste sweet. Okay, and then for. Crab meat. Uh, make sure you use good quality crab meat. Uh, don't use the canned stuff because it's really mushy. So go to a nice seafood counter and get crab that you can actually see. All right, that's pretty much it. Before we get cooking, I am going to show you one thing that we're gonna make, and that is a condiment to go with this fried rice, p r i k n a m p l a Thai fried rice generally is a very simply seasoned dish. So what we like to serve it with is something to zhuzh it up at the table, and that's something called p r i k n a m p l a and it's sort of like our version of salt and pepper. You can put it on just about anything that you're eating, and at the very basic level, it's just chilies and fish sauce, and that's it. But if you wanna, you know, do a little something more, I've got some chilies and some chopped garlic. You can also do uh, thinly sliced shallots as well if you want, and then. There is no real recipe for this. You're just gonna add as much fish sauce as it takes to cover it, and you can add more chilies, less chilies, depending on how spicy you want it. I always like to add a little squeeze of lime so that it's not all salty. There's like lime and you know a little tartness as well. So the ratio, I don't know, like a teaspoon of lime and a tablespoon of fish sauce, but really just you can just wing it. Now this can be used right away, but I like to do it in advance just so it has time for the flavor of the garlic and whatever to just infuse a little bit. But it can be used fresh if you don't have the time. Okay, so that's ready, and let's get cooking. So I've got a wok here, which for fried rice you want to use a large vessel. So don't do a pan that's just big enough. You want to be able to toss vigorously without worrying about things flying out of your pan. So I'm gonna add oil and maybe open the oil bottle. A little bit of cooking oil, and then right away I'm gonna add some garlic. And I say right away because I don't want the oil to get too hot, and then my garlic. Burns instantly before it has a chance to really infuse into the oil, and that's really what we're doing at this point. We're infusing the oil with the garlic flavor, and that oil carries all that and distributes it all over the rice. So you want to keep the heat at this point, kind of medium, medium low, because garlic can burn pretty quickly. Okay. Once the smallest pieces of garlic starts to turn golden, you don't want to wait too long. In goes eggs. Yes, you want eggs in this, and I could probably turn the heat up a little bit more at this point. And if you feel like your garlic's gonna burn, you can always just kind of like protect them by putting them on top of the eggs. Okay, that's a little much. Just gonna let that set a little bit, scramble it gently. I kind of like the marbled effect, so I don't want everything to be completely mixed. Okay, the egg does not have to set all the way, and in goes my rice. 
feel like I need to re-season my wok a little bit. It's starting to stick a little bit. Now, once the rice goes in, you go in with all the seasoning. And if your rice was a little bit clumpy, the seasoning will help it release. White pepper as well. Don't forget the white pepper and also a little bit of sugar. Yes, white pepper I didn't mention. It's very important because this is not a spicy dish. So something a little bit peppery really adds excitement to fried rice. And now all you have to do is cook this until it's done. Now the secret, the secret to making uh, Thai fried rice or really any kind of fried rice good is you toast the rice a little bit. So if I see any big lumps, I can just go in and try to break them up. But what I don't want to do is stir it all the time. I kind of want to let it sit a little bit, get the rice to toast a little bit, and then I toss. That's how you get nice, toasty flavor in the rice, and not just rice, mixed with seasoning like it was a salad. And so it's important to not crowd the pan because otherwise you, you can't get it hot enough to toast the rice as well. But it's so fast, so easy. See, I can start to see there's a little bit. See, I need to, to re-season my wok now. Sticking a little bit, that's okay. Now I can see some browning, like golden browning in some of my rice and you can hear pop, pop, pop. That is good. Now I'm gonna go in with my crab. Woohoo! Oh yes, we're adding a lot of crab. And you want to mix rather gently because you don't want to break up the crab, but give it enough time so that it has time to heat through. Oh my gosh, we're almost done, you guys. How easy is that? Again, let the rice toast. And if your rice was a little bit too wet, the toasting will help the rice dry as well. So I feel like that's one mistake people make is they make fried rice and everything looks mixed and then they think it's done, but it's not. You've got to toast it. Okay. That's pretty much done. I'm gonna add in some greenery, some green onions and cilantro. And give that a final toss. Turn the heat off now, because I don't wanna kill my cilantro with too much heat. And then you guys, it is done. How beautiful does this look? I can even try to do a chef toss just for show. This pan's so heavy though. Not very good. This pan's so heavy. I just love this. This honestly is my absolute favorite type of fried rice in the world of Thai fried rices. But in Thailand, of course, they don't give you this much crab, right? Because crab is expensive. So in Thailand, if you're getting it at like, I don't know, like a mom and pop stall, you don't get too much crab. You get a lot of crab, you have to go to like a nice seafood restaurant. But at home, we can add as much crab as I want. Okay. A little beige, I know, so it really does need some fresh greenery. So this is a combination of cilantro and green onions. You can just do one or the other, but I want to do it with both because in Thailand, usually this is what they do at like street vendors. It's always, they have a, a thing with both green onions and cilantro mix that they use to sprinkle on top of everything. It's like our chopped parsley. And of course, I did set aside a little extra crab for on top. So people know this is crab fried rice. The garnishes, I'm gonna call them garnishes, but they're actually really, really, really important for this. First, cucumber slices. Cucumber is always served with Thai fried rice and it really does act like a palate cleanser for the rice, which is, you know, there's no vegetables in this. So it's really refreshing to eat it with cucumber and it just makes a whole dish taste better when there's a bit of balance and then some lime and while i am here i'm gonna take this opportunity to show you how to cut limes like a thai person okay here we go i've done this before but as a review you get this lime and this way you will have the most easy time squeezing lime by hand so here's a lime you cut the first wedge off slightly off the core you want to avoid the core because it's the core that's going to prevent you from easily squeezing so there you go a nice cheek that is so easy to squeeze. With the remainder of this, you also wanna avoid the core. So I'm cutting this off right here. I'm not touching the core. 
You got a nice piece with no core, and then with the last one, you just cut the core off. And if you're really stingy, you can like try to juice the core as well. Sometimes if I'm missing just a little bit of lime, I take the core to try to get juice out of it. But now you've got three pieces that are all really easy to squeeze. And then for one serving, what I might do is take this one, for example, and just cut that down, right? So I only need, I don't know, this much. Put the lime right here. And the lime is not optional. You really want to put that on. And then of course, we've got our pricknam pla to go in a matching little dipping sauce bowl. Yay! Okay, let's eat. I want to just taste first with no nothing, just straight up rice, just so I know what the actual rice tastes like, and then we'll dress it up. So nostalgic. Mm. The rice is perfectly seasoned, a little bit toasted, and the crab meat's a little bit sweet, you know, so it's, it balances really well. Now, let's uh, fully load our fried rice with a squeeze of lime, a little bit of pregnum flour with a little chili and a little garlic. Oh, here we go. This is, this is the bite right here. Oh, I can smell that chili and lime. Few things in life are better than a plate of well-made crab fried rice. Oh, and really taking the time to toast the rice takes it to a whole nother level. Here, Adam, have a taste and tell me what you think. Adam is, has gone to heaven. <laughs> Adam approved. Adam approved. Okay, I'm gonna go and finish this plate of rice because this is too good. So I'm gonna quickly say goodbye to you. The recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or tag me on Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, definitely do so you don't miss an episode. And click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time for your next delicious time.